All right, we're gonna be installing the mobile base on the N4400. You wanna take a look at the instructions, make sure you have all of the parts, and you also wanna take note that this uh, mobile base is universal and that it fits several different one of their uh, bandsaws. So take note of the number, mine's the N4400, which is a one, and just take note of the bolts and the nuts that you're going to need. I'm gonna be using the 75 millimeter bolts. I'm not gonna be using the 60 because these are for the other bandsaws, and I'm also not going to be using these smaller nuts. So I'm gonna set those to the side. Now to begin, I'm gonna be installing this bracket on the front center of the bandsaw. And to do that, you're gonna be using three of these M8 25 millimeter bolts and a couple of washers. So to begin, just take the bolt, put the washer on it, and the bracket has three holes in it. And you'll notice that you're gonna be installing three of the bolts, pretty simple. So take the bolt, washer, and put it in the hole. And to install it, I'm going to be using a 13 millimeter socket and a 13 millimeter wrench. You'll notice that the front of the bandsaw has the three holes and they line up with the bolt pattern on the bracket. So with my fingers on the front of the bolt, holding it in place, I'm going to slide it through. And then again, I'm going to take a washer and put it on the other side of the bolt. And I'm just going to get one started so that it'll hold it in place. And then I'm going to take the nut and put it right behind that washer and tighten it up. Now using a 13 millimeter wrench, hold it in place, tighten it down. With the front bracket installed, let's install the front levelers. There are two of these. We're going to need a 75 millimeter bolt. And you'll notice that the bottom of this has an indentation for the head so that it locks in place. So slide that in there. And we're going to need a nut that slides over it. And this is going to lock the bolt in place. Now with that at the bottom, we're gonna need another nut and the location of this depends on where your bandsaw is going, how level your floors are, and all that stuff, which obviously this can be adjusted once it's installed. So I'm just going to leave mine there, but again, it all depends on your setup. And finally, we need a washer on there. We're going to slide this under the bandsaw, into the hole, and then we're going to take a washer from the top of the bandsaw, slide it over, and then the final nut. And now, with the uh, help of an assistant, they're going to push the bandsaw forward, I'm going to slide this under and then put it in the back hole and then laying it back down and I'm going to put the washer on it and then the final nut. All right. Now we can install the wheels and it's pretty simple. You've got two shaft collars. You're going to put one on the shaft here, the axle, install the wheel and the second shaft collar, tighten down the screws, and it's good to go. Now, this axle is wider than the bandsaw, so you're going to have to measure the overhang accordingly. Like I mentioned a second ago, I install the first shaft collar and place it right up against the frame of the bandsaw. Next, I slide the wheel and the final shaft collar into place. Tighten the screws on the shaft collars and the rear wheel assembly is good to go. With the bandsaw in its final resting place in my shop, we can level it. I not only level it across the table, but also from front to back. I loosen the bolts on the feet and I adjust the nut until the bandsaw is level. To make it easier, I had an assistant over to help raise the front end of the bandsaw using the lifting bar so that it made adjusting the legs a whole lot easier. Once it's level, I tighten down the nut on each leg. In case I ever move the bandsaw, I want to get it right back where it needs to be so that I know that it's level. And to do that, I just mark a couple of spots on the floor using masking tape. Assembling the lifting bar is really simple. You've got a longer bar with two rubber sleeves that will be the handle, so we'll go ahead and install that. By pushing it in the hole in the front, and then sliding these over. 
Now we can install the wheels. We have a shorter bar that goes in the bottom between the two holes. And then we slide the wheels on. And set the spacing on that bar so that it's equal on both sides. And we have two sleeve collars that we will install. And the last items we need to install is this bolt with the washer that goes through the hole and then a 17 millimeter nut. When you're using this with the mobile base, this is what actually pivots inside of the hole. Using the rolling carriage and the lifting bar is extremely simple to do and one of the best mobile base configurations I've seen and especially in my shop. It's easy to move and when you're done you can store the lifting bar and it's out of the way. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.